Alright, so this is going to be a quick tutorial for the momentum jump you can do in Follow the Bouncing Ball. This is good for if you are doing categories where you don't have the bowling ball, like in Switchless, for example. Or it's also good if you find the spike ball very difficult for, for some, some reason. reason. So one thing you want to keep in mind before you go for this trick is that this platform extends a little bit beyond its like visual model. The hitbox is like way out here. You see this far out corner, how I'm just standing into nothing? That is what you want to aim for before you go for this trick. So as you can load into the level, you want to walk out, swing out a little bit until SpongeBob is parallel with this line here. Then you want to have your camera lined up so that the right edge of this Krabby Patty is in the middle of SpongeBob. That is your camera you want to go for. So when the block starts coming to you and it starts to pass this like bottom part of the cliff, that's when you want to go for it. Once the block passes the visual cue, you're going to walk off a little bit, jump, You'll land on like the middle of the part of the block you're jumping on or like slightly to the bottom of it, but don't jump yet. You want to walk off until you're like very close to the edge where you're almost going to fall off. That's when you want to do your second jump and that's what will get you the momentum. Once you've got your momentum, you'll do a double jump and then a spin and then you'll aim for the invisible part of the platform. Now I'm going to explain the whole thing in real time. Swing out a little bit, have Spongebob parallel with the edge, line up so he's at the Krabby Patty, wait for the block to come towards the cliff, walk off jump, walk off jump, jump spin. And that is the follow the bouncing ball momentum jump. Thanks for watching!